Hi, gang. Today we're going to wrap up memory and talk about the issues related to forgetting, uh, which is simply the inability to get information out of memory or storage. First reason why you may have forgotten something in the world of psychology, we talk about encoding failure. All encoding failure is, is simply the information did not make it into storage. Either you didn't pay attention to it, or it wasn't anything included in what you were learning or being taught, cannot recall anything that isn't there to begin with. It's also possible you may have difficulty retrieving information because of something called interference. There are two kinds. There's retroactive and proactive interference. In retroactive interference, what happens is new information makes it difficult to recall old information. So new information makes it a challenge to remember the stuff you learned first. In the picture here, we have two names that you have learned. The first one is Julie. The newest one, or the second one, is Judy. Very similar sounding. In retroactive interference, you would be able to go, yeah, I remember Judy but you would be stuck and thinking, oh my goodness, what was the name of the girl I met before? I keep wanting to say Judy, when in reality, her name is Julie. That's retroactive interference. The new is getting in the way of the old. Proactive is different. It is in the other direction. In proactive interference, what's happening is you're having challenges getting to the new information. Um, so here, we're sticking with the same two names. You learn Julie first, and then you meet someone second whose name is Judy. Now, maybe you've known Julie for years and years and years. So, of course, the name Julie is something that you know very, very well. And when you meet this new person, and then you meet them again, and you're like, ugh, I know I know your name. I know I learned your name. But the only thing I can come up with is Julie, and I know that's wrong. That's proactive interference. You can't get to the new stuff. The last reason why you may not be able to retrieve something or you may have forgetting is this idea of the decay theory. Our brain is made up of neurons and chemicals and all sorts of things in there. And what the decay theory says is that over time, those chemical traces that are made with memories, they fade. Decay theory says, if you use it, you get to keep it. If you don't use it, you will lose it, which may make sense. You may not remember what you were doing five, 10 years ago, but the stuff you just did recently, you can get access to. That's because those chemical traces, those memories are very, very fresh. They're very, very healthy, and they're not fading away over time. So those are some of the reasons why you could be forgetting some of the reasons why you may be having retrieval failure. So thank you. Bye-bye.